Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how I got this look. This is pretty much my everyday signature makeup look. So if you want to know how I achieved this, just stick around. washing my hands because it's really important to wash your hands before you touch your face and by the way I pretty much also did my skincare routine before doing my makeup routine that's also very important so I'm gonna go wash my hands now so I'm gonna be taking this foundation from the face shop this is the ink lasting foundation with SPF 30 PA++ and it's in their glow variant. So I'm just going to be shaking this one up because you have to really make sure that you get the pigment and the emollients really mixed up well. Sometimes I also tap it on my hand like that to really make sure that I shake it up well. Then I'm just going to be taking one pump, that's one pump of it. Then I just use my finger to kind of spread it all out on my face. Just, I don't really have like a specific method, I just um, spread it all over my face and the coverage of this is pretty high so yeah. then I'm gonna be taking a dry sponge I know that um, a lot of beauty gurus usually wet their sponges but I don't because I like having that coverage so I'm just gonna dab it on my skin. As you can see, this foundation has pretty high coverage. One pump is like more than enough for all over my face. Like as you can see here, I do have like some pimples, but it's okay. Because I have my period, so makeup can definitely help with that. Okay, so now I'm done with the base makeup, so, or rather the foundation part. So I'm going to just seal it with a loose powder. This is from Dr. Sensitive All Day No Sebum Blur Powder, Soft Focus Effect in Translucent. This is just a plain translucent powder that I love to use and it's just really inexpensive as well so I just get a little bit there use a powder brush no this is not my powder brush this is my blush brush this is my powder brush okay so I'm just gonna dust it all over my face like as you've noticed I don't really use concealer because I just like that natural look as much as possible and I don't think I need concealer like even if I do have some imperfections here and there like I don't really need it like it's fine to let your imperfections show up once in a while and besides like my foundation is already on the heavier coverage as well so Okay, so now it's time to contour. 
Um, the way I contour my face is more on the Japanese or Korean style of contouring it. So I don't like do it the um, Western way, which is to take your contour powder from here to here. What I noticed with Koreans or Japanese makeup, like they just contour just around the face just to make it look like their face is actually smaller, not necessarily like chiseled. So I'm just gonna be taking this contour powder right here. This is how it looks like. It's just a generic contour palette. Then I'm gonna start on my the size of my temples, then just take it down like that. Like I'm just literally going around my face. I'm not creating any harsh lines. Literally contouring it just to give it like a very natural definition. Okay, so for blush, I normally will either use this this one from Dior or this one from Essence or this one from Mac. I am a huge blush fan, so clearly I have quite the selection over here. But for today, I'm going to be using Dior because I just want my look to be very natural. And this is in the shade 001 Pink. This is their um, Dior Backstage. Yeah, backstage rosy glow blush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I like that this blush is just so natural. It's perfect for like the no makeup makeup look or if you have to wear um, a strong lip color and you can easily just you know like build it up and it looks so natural. What I also like about this is that it adjusts to your um, skin tone and it reacts to the moisture level of your skin. So you kind of end up getting a customized um, blush for your face. So whatever is left, I just put it on my forehead, nose, and chin. Okay, for my eyebrows, I just use a eyebrow powder. This is from Yucky Nuo. It's just a generic one. And I just got this one from Shopee. It's super cheap. I'm just like lightly putting it all over. Just following the natural shape of it. Okay. Okay, now for my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take um, the colors that I use for my contour, I'm just going to be putting it just all over my lid. Just like that. Nothing too fancy. Then whatever is left, I 
use it as a contour for my nose. As for highlighter, I'm just going to be taking this highlighter palette. This is from O2O. Then I'm going to be getting the white shade, this shade, and mixing it with this pink one. Just gonna highlight my face a little bit, just my cheekbones. Cosmetics um, liquid matte lipstick. So this whole makeup look pretty much just centers on this product over here and Like it's a very simple Almost no makeup makeup look. So if you want to also just take this into a no makeup makeup look like you can just skip this shade and choose a more muted color and yeah, I really just love this color because it's it's red, but it's more on the berry toned red. And it's um, blue toned as well. So any blue toned red lip color can also help whiten your teeth um, instantly as well. Okay, so this is pretty much how you achieve this very simple um, look. You can absolutely transform it into a no makeup makeup look or stick to my signature look because I really just love that bold red lip color and just a muted uh, makeup look like in terms of my eye makeup. Um, I don't really put so much eye makeup because one, I'm not exactly that well versed in doing smoky eyes and all that and I just want to make my makeup look as quick as possible. I know that this video is quite long, but believe me, I can do this makeup look in about like five minutes or just under 10 minutes, I guess. So yeah, if I'm in a hurry, I skip my eye makeup. Like I don't put any eye makeup anymore. Or sometimes I'll just, you know, just stick to the base makeup, my eyebrows and go straight to my lip color like sometimes I'll just skip the contour part the eye makeup part and the blush part as long as I have a good base a good um, well-groomed eyebrows and my favorite lip color which is red like I'm pretty good to go and I'm really happy so yeah I also got my eyelashes done at Evie & Co. So that's also a really big help when it comes to um, saving more time with your makeup look. Whether it's this look or a no makeup makeup look, like you don't have to use any eyelash curler anymore or you don't need to use any um, mascara or eyeliner anymore. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want to... Um, know more about the products that I use. I'll be putting the list down in the description box, so go check it out. Also, do follow me on my social medias. I'll be putting the links as well down in the description box. 
And yeah, guys, stay safe, happy, and healthy. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell and do give this video a thumbs up. I'll also very much appreciate it if you can share this video with your friends and family. Okay, take care guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Hey guys, so if you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more, click here and here. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Also, do follow me on my socials. It's at Ia Loves Life. I'm actually on TikTok, Instagram, and on Facebook. So guys, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and take care.